My name is Masha Uwasha Nolly, and I'm a food blogger and a media personality as well. I love food. I really love food and I love blogging about food as well. Well, today we will be making something really interesting. Ewo Bobo. It's a mix of plantain and eba, not your usual bland eba or amala. You can use your food processor or our grandmama's mortar and pestle. Very easy to use and you'll get something really nice. And we will be pairing it with peanut soup or what some people call groundnut soup. Same thing, groundnut, peanut, whatever it is. It's good soup, I tell you. We'll be using lots of meat, assorted meats, fish and so much more. You will be having a good time after you've tasted this ewobobo and ground nut soup. Now, let's cook. I have what is called the tripe or more everything in it, a body. I will be adding it to the pot right now. We will be using olive oil. I'm using this as my choice oil. Why? Because it's healthy. Well, some people might love to use palm oil. It's actually fantastic if you use palm oil for groundnut soup. You can use vegetable oil, but I chose olive oil. In a preheated pot, we'll pour olive oil. Let's say about uh, two cooking spoonful. Being someone who loves to cook, I have an idea of how many spoons I'm pouring into this pot. So if you look closely and you use your spoon, you'll know I have about two cooking spoonful of olive oil inside this pot. When it's hot, we'll be putting in the onion. Wow, it's really hot. But we're not going to let it brown. We'll just leave it until it's a bit translucent. And um, while this is cooking, I'm actually going to blend my peanuts or groundnut. In this blender, I have peanuts. But what you have to do at home, you will get your normal roasted peanut from the road seller, the one you use for banana and uh, all that jazz. And what you do, you grind it in the dry part of your blender. All right, it's still frying nicely. And then you put it into the liquid blender and you grind with some water. Ah, it's quite thick, so I'll be adding a bit of some water to loosen it up a bit. Mm, that's about nice. And then I blend. Yes, this is quite good. And now, we'll be putting it straight into the pot. Mmm. I smell peanuts. Yes, you'll be having that peanut butter kind of smell. Really, really nice. Interesting as well. We continue cooking. And there's something you have to do always. You have to continue stirring. You know why? So that you don't get the peanuts burnt or the peanut paste burnt. So we'll have to leave this on the fire for about 10 minutes on it till it's really nice and well cooked. As you can see, it's nice and thick. Now I'll be adding other ingredients to it as well. We'll be adding about two teaspoons or rather two tablespoons of tomato paste. You put it in and you stir. I chose to use tin tomatoes just to save time. You know nowadays so many Nigerians out there love quick cooking and this is actually cook, quick cooking. If you'd love to use the fresh alternative, all you have to do is blend your tomato, put it on the fire in a hot pot and you steam until all the moisture goes out of it, but it takes a lot of time. So I chose to use tomato paste, it's quite fast. You can see how nice it is. The color is so rich 
and red. You might even think there's palm oil in it, but remember we're using olive oil. I'll be adding pepper to it right now. I don't know how you like your pepper. I like soup a little bit on the spicy side. You know something about spice, especially when you use cayenne pepper. It actually releases endorphin in you. And you know endorphin is the feel-good chemical. You get it when you also take some chocolate. When you have it, you know, this peppery feeling makes you really excited. So I like my food a bit spicy because I like to be a little bit excited. Well, as you can see, nice and red, looking good. Pepper in it. Everything going so nicely. We'll be adding the assorted meat to it. And right here in this bowl, as you can see, I have what is called the tripe, or more everything in it, a body, just the way Nigerians like it. So I will be adding it to the pot right now. Hmm. Looking nice, isn't it? And the meat I'm actually adding to the soup right now has been pre-cooked. How do we cook meat in Nigeria? It's very easy. All you need to add is water in the pot, your sorted meat, some onion, salt, and seasoning cube. The way you like it, spice it the way you want. So we're going to stir it, blend everything in, as you can see, it's really looking nice. Very nice. But it's quite thick. So what will we be doing at this stage? We add one cup of water and a half to loosen the soup. Nice and good. And now when the soup is loosened, it's about time for us to add our smoked fish. Smoked fish is used in Nigeria by so many tribes. It's really, really delicious. So we'll be taking the smoked fish right now. This is it, I already washed it. And guess what? It's nice for you to wash your smoked fish with salt and water. Using hot water and salt loosens out the dirt and it's some sort of antiseptic. nice as you can see my fish was prepared after washing i did um, cut it into little chunks and i removed the bone you have to debone the fish doing it that way is quite nice so that you don't have bone lying around in the soup i'll have to add my seasoning cubes and salt but remember we added the meat and the stock inside the pot and while we're cooking the meat salt was used in cooking it so you have to be really careful how you season and make sure it comes out right so i will be adding seasoning cubes we will be adding seasoning to the pot any seasoning cube of your choice will be nice for this and then some salt this is about um, three quarter of a teaspoon we are adding to it we'll have to taste for salt as well we don't want very salty soup. This should be really, really nice. So, I'm stirring it nicely. You can see how good it looks with all the assorted meats and fish in it. And while it will be cooking, we're going to do something else. We're going to prepare our plantain for a wobobo. You use your wooden spoon to blend it in together. Now, we'll be putting the plantain on the fire. Remember, we're making a wobobo. A wobobo is a mix of plantain and the yellow gari. So quickly, 
what we'll do is that we take out both ends of the plantain. Remember to use really, really ripe plantain. We're not taking out the skin. We're going to actually cut it into small sizes and we drop it in the pot with some water to cook. You don't have to add any salt to it, just water. So I'm adding my plantain and enough water to cook it, yes. And when it's done, we'll be adding the plantain, or rather we'll pound the plantain. We can see that it's boiling nice and good. And now it's about time for us to add the crayfish. I will be adding two heaped tablespoon full of crayfish. Mm. Smells good. Granola soup getting ready. But before I cover this pot to allow it really cook, we're now going to do something really special. It is granola soup quite all right but I'm adding something extra to it, and that's airy. Some people call it calabash nutmeg. This is what I'm going to do right now. I'm placing the airy iwa, ehuru, directly on the gas cooker, and I'll turn it on. Right now, we're going to allow the airy to really, really roast. The roasting process actually lets out oil within this particular spice you're seeing. So really let it get smoked up, roasted, nice and good. You can see it roasting away and the soup is bubbling away. Fantastic. Soon we'll have the kitchen having the smell of roasted ehuru, roasted iwa, roasted eri. So that's it, roasting nice and good and soon I'll be doing something with this two little small but mighty spices. It's actually burning. I'm going to drop it right into the pot of soup. Did you hear that sound? That's a sound of roasting or roasted airy. Fantastic. And these two little seeds will give a very earthy flavor to this groundnut soup. Just a little infusion to make it maybe more oomph, adding more oomph to it. And I'm going to stir it right into the soup. It is nice, but you don't have to serve or add the area to a plate when you're serving. You know why? It can taste really bitter if it's eaten. So while it's cooking right now, we're infusing the oil from the area right into the pot of soup. When it's done and when you're serving, make sure you do not add it to someone's pot of soup. Maybe he or she might think it's fish, bite into it and it wouldn't be a pleasant experience. So when you're serving, make sure you take it out, simple. So we're going to cover it right now. Allow it cook, let the airish goodness get into the pot of soup while the plantain is boiling. Right now we're about to make eba. Eba or gari, used for making eba, is a staple in Nigeria, especially from the southern part and the southeastern part of Nigeria, even the western part of Nigeria and the east and pure east of Nigeria. We have people loving gari. There are different types of gari, but for a wobobo, we will be using what is called the yellow gari. Why? Because it's quite nice compared to the white gari that is a bit sour and um, sharp to the taste, if you understand what I mean. So right now we'll be pouring water into this bowl. This is how we make eba in Nigeria. Hot water. And then you just add the gari to it. Don't be afraid. You can hardly ever go wrong making eba. So you add the gari to it nice and slowly, just like this. And remember, we're using about one cup of gari. One cup of gari, one plantain mixed together. Could serve about two people or one person if you have a really large appetite. Next, you use your wooden spoon to blend it in together. 
This is a pretty small bowl, but it's quite manageable. You can use it nicely. So we mix it together nice and slowly and uh, your gari is ready. Now the plantain is nice and cooked. So what we'll do now is to put it on the chopboard. We have to take off the skin. We'll do this quickly because we have to pound when the plantain is really hot. So it's on the chopboard right now. I'll be using a knife to take the skin off the plantain. You can see how it came out nice and easy. If you cook without the skin, you could have it really, really, let's say mashed up or something like that, especially when you're using water to boil your plantain. We'll be transferring it into the mortar. Put it nicely. I'm adding some tripe. nice and fast. For every one plantain you use, ripe plantain you use, you can use one cup of eba or gari to make your eba. Doing it the traditional way, you pound nice and fast. Nice and quick. You pound it. It's pretty easy when hot. As you can see, it's nice and smooth. We'll be adding the eba to it. And what we are about to do is to blend it together. The French say melanger. That's the art of combining two things together. Yes, nice, not too easy. Well, as you can see, I'm using the mini mortar and pestle, but we have in different sizes. I'm making a meal for about two people, so you can use something this small. But using a much bigger mortar can save you a lot of time, but it's quite heavy, especially when you're using it with a pestle. But with this, nice and quick in your kitchen, not too much force, you will get your ewobobo. What we'll do is to scoop the ewobobo right into the bag. Just like this. All right, now we're going to roll out the awobobo so that it will be nice and really attractive, especially when plating. So we have it right in the politin bag. Arrange it nicely. Just like this. And then with your roller, you can roll out. See how it's coming? It's quite easy. So you roll out nicely. Mm -hmm. This will be the end. We're going to start the rolling process from here and we'll take it towards the end. And then we cut. It's not rocket science, it's quite easy. Just like this, you cut. And after cutting with your hands, make sure it's clean. Just hold it and you roll nicely. While you roll, make sure you remove the bag. Well, the traditional way we do it in Nigeria is to make it into a round ball and serve. But we, I decided to do something a little bit different by doing this, rolling it. 
feel that it will look very nice on the plate rather than the normal bowls of eba, amala and the rest that we have. You can see how it looks, nice. Turn it to the side, not so bad. Trim off the edges. You can see how it looks. So right now what we'll do next is to get our platter. I will be using this rectangular platter. It's quite trendy. Nicely scoop some groundnut soup into the bowl. You can see what we call the body, the fuku and the pomo. This is a very Nigerian dish, I tell you. And then some nice dry fish or smoked fish. Put it nicely. I'm adding some tripe. And some soup, a little bit more. And that's it. You place it right here. And then here we go, go. Beside it. Hmm. Already looking lovely, isn't it? And um, just to add a touch of color, we're going to add spring onion for garnishing. Just a little bit of it. We're not just having it alone. We'll be having something else with this lovely dish we're having. There's something, my very own creation, called the Agbalumo juice. Agbalumo is a fruit in Africa. What we need is the flesh of three Agbalumo fruits. We're adding it two cups of cold water. I'm using two tablespoonful of sugar. You could choose the sweetener of your choice. You blend away. So you strain to remove any sediments you have inside the juice. And what next? We'll be adding ice to the glass and pour the nice juice over the glass of ice. So this is your Agbalumo juice. Nice, cold, in a tall glass. But we will be using a straw to enjoy this really nice drink. Being a Nigerian, I will choose a green straw representing my country. Green, white, green. And this is the Agbalumo juice beside the Ewobobo. Ewobobo is from the Niger Delta. It is a meal mostly used for lunch, even dinner, breakfast for the not too privileged homes, but it's delicious. So whatever you choose to use it for, it's nice. You can upload your pictures on Instagram, tag us at Ebony Life TV, and also you can tag me at Mashe Cooks. We'll love your feedback, we'll love to see your pictures. Well, that's it from me. We'll see you next time on Chefrica. Mm -hmm.